You see this rock here? Notice the iron stain and colour about it? Do you want to know what that is? That's a banded iron formation and we're going to talk about how this forms because this is found in Scotland and it's the only magnetic formation there is in the whole UK. Look at that. Wow. I'm sticking a magnet to it right now. So how does this form? Well, banded iron formations are found across the world and they represent a period of time when there was no oxygen. But in the ocean, where these rocks were once deposited in a shallow marine area, you had all of these biological processes happening. So all the little wee organisms that were living in the sea at this point in time, they were obviously cutting about, right? And swimming about or whatever, doing what their stuff and photosynthesizing. And as they photosynthesized, they produced oxygen. And the oxygen reacted with chemicals such as iron and the water producing an iron oxide. And these iron oxide layers were deposited upon each other. And there's only like a big, like a small band of this in this area, like 50 meters or so of it. But they were deposited on top of each other, forming these lovely, beautiful layers of a banded iron formation. And that's what we have here today. Sometimes there was bits of like iron oxide, such as hematite, and then other times there was magnetite. And that's what's causing this magnet to stick to the rock. This magnet to stick to the rock. And even down here, that's probably more magnetite because it's darker. And that's probably more an iron oxide, such as hematite. Is that no class? I think it's class. Right, okay. You ready, Brian? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, on you go. Put it on. <gasps> Look at that. It's a magnetic rock. <laughs> See. Is that not magnet?